Hello and welcome to what's new in NX12. Today I'm going to cover the changes in the user interface. You'll notice right away when I have a part open that I have a tab here instead of having the little X up in the corner. You'll also notice that make displayed part is gone. And it's now called open in window. I'll open this in a window and I see that I have another tab here. You pull this tab off and undock it and then place it over here to give me a split view screen. Do the same thing with my other part. Now I have the assembly open, my two parts. If I look at my part navigator over here, it's changing based on the window that's now in my active window. So I'm going to pick this edge, place an edge blend on it. Do the other four as well. And I can see on my assembly view what it's doing. I'm going to do the same thing up here. Place an edge blend on this. You can also see as I'm just moving my mouse around while spinning my space ball, uh, the parts are moving within their own windows. I'm going to make all these go home. I've done what I wanted to do with these two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And you'll notice that I do have a modified flag on my tab. I also want to put a hole for mounting my bracket. But if I try to make this the work part, I get a cross units check on it that says I can't do it because it's cross units. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in a new window and then pull it to the side. And I'm going to do a quick measurement the center of that hole 1.5 inches. I'll put a quick sketch and place a hole in my part. I'd like to stick it in the center and then just use a dimension from the end 1.5 in and let that go as that. Look at the preview. I can also see the preview in my assembly window. Make that full. Even though it's only through about a few, few millimeters of, of uh, thickness. And I can go ahead and close this window and come back to my main window and perform assembly constraints. Go ahead and align this. And maybe the other side as well. And one thing I can also do, if I just make that the work part by double clicking on it, I get the, as you would expect, your history tree arrived. So I'm going to make this 1.75, make the bracket a little bit wider. And I want to go into this bracket and make it just a little bit taller. Make that 6 inches tall. And come back to my assembly. If you look up your at your undo, you now have undos based on each individual part that's being shown up here. So that's new too. If I right click on a tab, I can tell it to float. Then I can take this tab and place it on another monitor. So I can have multiple monitors set up with multiple parts. It's a pretty handy tool, this uh, new tab design. I'm going to go ahead and just redock that into place. And thank you for watching.